In a Sunday morning tweet storm, President Donald Trump lashing out at retiring Republican Senator Bob Corker, a former ally who says Trump's top cabinet aides are keeping the U.S. from falling into chaos. Bob Corker begged me to endorse him, Trump tweeted about the Tennessee senator, who recently announced he will not run for re-election in 2018. I said no, and he dropped out. In further tweets, Trump says Corker also wanted to be his secretary of state, but Trump said, quote, no thanks, and then blames Corker for the, quote, horrendous nuclear deal with Iran. Corker quickly tweeting a rejoinder. It's a shame the White House has become an adult daycare center. Someone obviously missed their shift this morning. Last Wednesday, Corker spoke out in support of Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and other top administration figures amid reports Tillerson had considered resigning over clashes with the president. I, I think uh, Secretary Tillerson, Secretary Mattis, and uh, Chief of Staff Kelly uh, are those people that help separate our country from chaos. In August, Corker said Trump had failed to show the, quote, stability or, quote, competence necessary to be successful. And his opposition to any tax reform initiative that increases the deficit has placed a major obstacle before one of Trump's top legislative priorities. It wasn't always like this. Corker supported Trump in the 2016 election and was briefly in the running for vice president, anything, seen as a possible bridge between Trump and the Republican establishment. Before that, Corker, who chairs the powerful Senate Foreign Relations Committee, wrote legislation requiring congressional review of the Iran nuclear deal, widely seen as sealing one of former President Obama's signature foreign policy achievements. Corker announced his retirement amid expectation he'd face a primary challenger from the far right wing of his party.